What's up, everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get here with the truth. So today, doing the what's next on former IBF Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Kenichi Ogawa, following his upset second round TKO loss to undefeated Joe Cordina. Um, really surprising loss right here. Um, this was supposed to be a stay busy fight for Ogawa, and now everything that he had lined up has been ruined. He uh, got knocked out brutally knocked out in the second round against um, Cordina, a monster right hand landed. And now the big question is what's next for Konichi Ogawa? And to be honest, I don't know. Um, I, Ogawa really need, he's gonna have to go back to the drawing board now. He, he they, you know, he's forced to because that was a, a monster loss after really, um, you know, coming out and dominating Azinga Fazil to capture the vacant title back in November and um, really impressing people. You know, Fazil's a solid fighter and he came out and pretty much just outworked them, dominated, scored a few knockdowns in that fight and route to a, a convincing decision win and captured his, you know, officially captured the world title. Um, and you really kind of forgot about that whole, uh, when, he, when he controversially defeated Tevin Farmer and then had the title stripped away due to, um, uh, you know, performance enhancing drugs uh, or whatever uh, he had used. And, you know, that everybody was really looking for because he's an all action guy. And um, I think he was probably, you know, looking past Cordina to Zelfa Barrett, who was fighting on the undercard. He's probably looking forward to that fight and then potentially a unification bout with Shakur Stevenson at some point. You know, he had just signed a big contract with, or uh, signed a contract with the zone and, uh, and Eddie, Eddie Hearn and Matchroom. So, you know, now following that loss, what does he do? He's gonna have to go back to the drawing board. I doubt he fights a top 10 guy next. I really am not even gonna run through the top 10. He's probably gonna uh, just appear on an undercard later this year and, um, you know, shake off the loss and get back into the mix. But tough defeat for him and hopefully he bounces back sooner rather than later. Um, and that's what I got. That's the what's next on Kenichi Ogawa, the former IBF super featherweight champion at 130 pounds. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. True boxing, you've been in with the truth.